It feels like a roadside movie. It's like, it's like a place that you might stop at as part of a road movie. I think probably the best thing that we did was a recce around the top of Scotland looking for a location. Because that was not only an opportunity to find a place where we could shoot the film, but it was also an opportunity to, to talk about the script, talk about the story, and really nail the story that Scott wanted to tell. Shell's about this girl that's, that's grown up in this remote peril station in the Highlands, and she feels trapped. And she looks after her father who's died. Her mother's left, and Shell's a little girl. The, the idea and, and the feeling of being trapped and, and wanting to escape and, and better yourself and, and, and all that is, is common to all of us. Lauren is just really, really perfect for the part. And that was good as well, just starting to talk about Shell as a real person. I'm there when I start talking with the director or the writer about the script and then I develop the script through to the point where it's commissioned. I then help find the money to finance the project and then I go through the process of building a, a crew to realise the director's vision. I want to put people inside the world of the film. And that's very important and so for Shell to work on any level, um, James ha just had a massive job. Yeah. Something like this is completely suitable. No one should be aware of it, but the entire film is utterly artificial. Every shot, every backdrop has either been built from scratch or repainted or altered. We had two trainees who were completely green as towards art department and basically just got stuck in at the deep end. Well, the film's called Shell and we've taken a shell of a garbage and made it into Shell the movie. Mm -hmm. They literally did everything that an art department could be asked to do. They did all the layouts of the shelves and then did all the exterior set dressing with, like, you know, aging the pumps down. The biggest challenge of Shell was to give it a style. I think when you read the script, everybody's got their own vision of it, and I think it's to kind of to get the vision that Scott's got along with my own style. A, a key element of the photography is the, is the way that the camera follows Shell in a very natural way. So not flashy, um, fast handheld, but just considered slow handheld that, that yeah, makes us feel like we're there with Shell. We couldn't have done this anywhere else. Even just the weather conditions, you know, this is, is so unique to, to, this, to this part of the world. We were filming one point. The wind was so strong we all huddled together, but ten of us all around the camera stopped the camera from blowing away. Um, so you're up against it. But I think it gives a, gives a film a unique look because it's got blue skies, it's got gale force conditions, it's got rain. This is a, it's a good day to wash a horse. I see my job is to, is to capture all of the detail that's in the script. Really it's about working with a team of people. This has probably been the most professional crew I've worked with. And I think we've made mm. friends and new contacts. That's important, really, yeah. Especially because we're both trying to get into the industry. What will happen to the film is it will be shown at festivals around the world where it will hopefully win prizes or, or get seen by people in the industry. The key festivals, I suppose, are Edinburgh and Berlin, and it'd be great to get into Cannes and Sundance. And then there's an opportunity to think about a longer project afterwards for a, perhaps a low budget feature that we could work on together. I don't really think of it as a short film, I just think of it as a film.